Okay, folks, today's the day, right? We're going to power up the QCX Mini for the very first time. And in order to do that, I have connected also my watt meter to check on the power later on. It's a WM2 from OHR, I think, your P watt meter. And I have attached a dummy load to, to uh, the watt meter. And I have also plugged in my earphones and my alignment tools are also sitting on the workbench. All right, so let's get ready for the smoke test. Light is coming up, but I don't see, I actually don't see a lot in the display, but that could be caused by the setting of the contrast pot that's here. Okay, here we are, and I can see that the unit is working. It's drawing about 75 milliamps from the power supply, and um, we're going to go through the alignment steps now. First of all, we're, uh, we need to select the band that the radio should operate on, and uh, as I have installed a 40 meter bandpass filter, I want the radio to operate on, on 40 meters, so let's uh, go and select this. Okay, 7020 is coming up. Looks good to me. And uh, now my next step should be, as I'm using the TCXO option, I have to change the reference frequency. And uh, I want to do that real quick. Go to... 8.5 I think it says yeah that's right here that's the reference frequency and it needs to be changed to 25 megahertz instead of the frequency indicated here the next step in the alignment will be the peaking of the bandpass filter which I'm gonna do next. So let's go to 8.7. Now if I press the button here I should be able to adjust this trimmer C1 to maximum reading and uh, let's see if it works. Okay I have my little tool here and I'm gonna insert it into the trimmer. I hear a a nice loud tone coming through the speakers. I'm glad I'm not wearing them. It's really loud. And uh, there is a number readout on the right hand side of the display and there is a bar graph um, indication in the center of the display or in the on the bottom row of the display. So I'm gonna try and tweak the trimmer C1 now. See the reading is coming up and also the the bar graph getting stronger and stronger it seems we're on 8 and ah, now it's decreasing again okay apparently I have already reached the maximum right here number 8 and I'm gonna leave it this way for now in the next step the manual tells us to go to 8.8 .8 and align the IQ balance which can be done with the first of these three uh, trimmer pots so let's go there and see what we can do now here and we're gonna minimize the reading that's what the manual wants us to do so I'm going to turn And it appears that I have already crossed the low dip <laughs> in this position here. So I'll leave it and go on to the next step, which will be the low audio phase shift 
alignment and I'm gonna use the second trimmer now and uh, see if I can get it to minimum it's going down and it's even going further down it seems okay I think number seven number seven and the minimum of number seven could be right here so I'll leave it here for now and go to the to the high audio phase shift frequency which will be adjusted here okay I can I need to minimize it and that's what I'm doing here reading a 9 and I think that's where we want to go okay the manual says we should go back and forth through these last three settings uh, as the pots appear to have influence on each other so we need to do this again aha uh -huh. I can even get a lower reading here go on to the low mm. yes it's going down on seven now it's different than before and also get this down a bit okay this seems to be okay so playing around with these three trimmers we should get the optimum minimum readout of each point So I think I'm going to leave it leave it like this for now. Okay, let's do a little power check and in order to do that I have already connected my little hand key that I have uh, here and um, I will make use of the internal uh, voltmeter now. So I have adjusted it to 12 volts as you can see here uh, it's 0.91 in the uh, measurement menu and now let's see what the wattmeter says oh wow okay seems like we're getting four and a half watts or something at 12 volts well that looks good okay now just for kicks let's increase the power the the voltage a little bit and see what the power output does when we apply a little higher voltage let's go to 13.8 volts and see what the output power does now when I key the transceiver okay we're we're getting around 6 watts here which is I think more than enough for this little transceiver now we're through the alignment so let's hook up the antenna and see if we can catch any stations on the band already. Okay, we're still on the dummy load, so we need to remove the dummy load now and change to the real antenna now. <laughs> it's a very exciting moment. Let's see what happens. Wow! <laughs> There's already a station calling CQ. I call that a nice coincidence. But that's the only thing I hear. No, there's another one here. Well, as a matter of fact, I do hear stations and uh, I want to turn on the CW decoder now in the next step so we can see in the display what they have to say. In order to turn the decoder on I have to go to 
item 5, which is the decoder. I'm going to leave this setting and I will just enable it here. No, that's the way to do it. Okay. And then I will also enable the TX decoder so I can decode my own sending code. Nine Alpha Five X Ray from Croatia calling CQ. That's not bad at all. I'm impressed. It sounds nice in my little speaker. I have uh, changed the headphones to this little speaker so we can hear it better. And uh, well, why don't we give him a call and see if he can hear us? Well, here's my little hand key and I'm gonna give him a call now. Radio seems to work, I think. Well, I'm not much of a straight key operator, obviously, so I better hook up my uh, little um, paddle that I have here, a Palm Single Pico PPS. And uh, let's see if we can find somebody that we can QSO with.
So, this radio seems to work really well and I hope you had fun watching this alignment procedure and my first QSOs. I hope you had fun and enjoyed it and have a lot of success building your own QCX Mini because they're really cool radios, I think. 73s from DL9SCO.